Uh, hey guys, uh, a quick update on Super SaaS. It's been doing really good and I just wanted to say thank you to everyone who helped and supported me while I was building it. So basically while I was talking about it on Twitter, uh, a lot of people seem to like the website and I thought I can just open source it. Not just the website, in fact, the entire tech I used to sell Super SaaS. Uh, it's a very nicely automated process. Whenever someone purchases it, they get license from Lemon Squeezy and they're taken to a page where they can just enter the Lemon Squeezy key, uh, their GitHub username, and then get themselves invited to the repository, uh, the private repository, uh, with read-only access. So in this video, I'll show you how you can sell access to private repositories using Lemon Repo. Uh, that's what I've named it. Uh, I'll tell you how to clone the template, uh, create, create your Lemon Squeezy and GitHub credentials, add a webhook, and you can just get started. Uh, so to get started, basically you need a personal access token. Uh, this is for inviting the users and uh, there's a section on the website where we show the commits. I, yeah, it's just like a part of the site which I was using. So in order to do that, um, just head over to this site, um, URL github.com slash settings slash token slash new. And yeah, you'll be on this page. I create tokens mostly using the classic way and then just give it some name and set the expiration to no expiration and this is the scope which we need basically the repo uh, we need the repo invite scope specifically and then we need the lemon squeezy store id api key and the product url so make sure you have a lemon squeezy store yeah and uh, once you are in the dashboard and have your account registered uh, and have a store created. Uh, you can find your store ID in settings stores and this is the store ID. And similarly, you can create an API key. Uh, they don't have scopes, uh, just create one and you'll get a API token. And you'll also need to add the webhooks part, which you can add it on the settings page. Basically, um, add whatever domain you have and this is the path slash api slash purchase webhook and make sure you select the order created event so this is used for whenever someone creates an order we store the count um, on our next up cache and then you need a next up account basically this is where we are storing our key and uh, and hosting the app and this is another option thing uh, basically when, uh, whenever someone creates an order or activates a license i get a not telegram notification um, using the bot okay uh, now that we have the credentials ready uh, let's head over to the repository url which is github.com slash super sas hq slash lemon repo i'll also share the url on the tweet or the youtube video which i'll be posting yeah, just click on the use this template button so that it gets cloned to your account uh, let's name it lemon repo test and you can keep it public or private it's up to you and yeah once you have this make sure to clone it locally and paste in the environment variables in the env file uh, there's an .env.example file which you can just refer and use this same format. And once you have the setup done locally, let's just head over to Nuxt Hub and make sure you create an account. Now basically Nuxt Hub is the full stack kit and Nuxt Hub admin is where you can host your Nuxt Hub projects. So, uh, you can see that I already have one hosted, uh, but uh, I mean, since you're creating a new project, just let's, uh, just head over to the new project button, import the repository, and oh yeah, oh, this is the one which I have. Select the region and make sure you paste in all the environment variables which you just created on the .env file and then just hit 
import repository it will automatically build and post to your site and it will get like a nice uh, .next .dev uh, subdomain and you can connect the domain uh, if you want uh, in next sub setting so that's done and once you are live you will get this beautiful landing page um, it has a real time counter of how many people are purchasing your template um, access to your github repository um, you can add videos and there's this really nice features which has this parallax effect as you scroll down they'll stick there and then this animation which i'm really proud of uh, i mean, i just like building animation and yeah this is where i said i have a section where i show the github commits so basically this will show you all the commits that we have on the repository which you are trying to sell there's a template uh, it's a testimonial section and faq section and then we also have this uh, footer and one really nice thing about this template is you get an admin section let's the password you need to set it in your environment variables and just follow the dot me dot example file and you'll understand so this is where and you can see all of your orders the people who have um, purchased it whether they have activated their license so it's like it's really powerful and you can filter data if you want there are customers uh, this will show you where uh, the customer is from the country etc this is just test data and these are just uh, my orders and then you have the telegram notifications if you have added the bot token and bot chat id you can just enable this and it will work and you can also edit the website banner and let me just show you yeah, you can see that it's changed to christmas sale it's really fast and happens on the fly yeah there you go uh i hope you like this and build really cool shit with it good luck thank you